Welcome to The Right Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast that guides you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, I reveal the top five best-selling pens of March and share five common misconceptions about the fountain pen hobby. Hang out until the end, and I'll give away something on my desk. But before we get into the top five, a little quick disclaimer I usually give at the top of these episodes. This top five pens list is based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during March 2024. This isn't my personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. We're falling down the pen collecting rabbit hole with the fifth most popular pen of March 2024, the Retro 51 Tornado Alice in Wonderland. Part of Retro 51's literary tornado collection, this pen's illustrated design will immerse you in the magic of Lewis Carroll's timeless tale. Unlike other Retro 51 pens packaged in tubes, the Alice in Wonderland packaging is on a whole other level. And I really don't want to open up this package, so I'll just give Chris a few pictures for you to take a look at when it comes to the pens themselves. And just talk about it using the uh, this glorious design package here. Illustrated by Retro 51's designer Angel, the graphics retell the classic 1865 story set against a glow-in-the-dark white barrel. Regardless if you decide on the retractable rollerball or the mechanical pencil, Atlas will help spark your imagination and add a touch of wonder to your everyday writing experience. Although these pens are numbered, they aren't limited. All the same, they do deserve a spot at the table of anyone who loves Alice in Wonderland. You can find the fifth most popular pen of March for $75.50 and the mechanical pencil for $87.50. So this is fun. This doesn't happen very often that I decide to buy one of the pens that also appears in the top five. This month, I have the fourth spot, the Scribo La Dota Aquarello Fountain Pen. This 2024 limited edition of 99 pieces reflects the time-honored tradition of watercolor art. I don't know what's on your social media feed, but I love watching clips of artists applying layers of watercolor to create beautiful art. So when I saw this exquisitely airbrushed and hand-painted design, I knew this was the Scribo for me. I've always wanted to add a Scribo to my collection because of the nib. The 14 karat gold Scribo Field of Flex nib has the same pedigree as the old Omas Extra Flexibile nib, complete with a custom ebonite feed for wet ink flow. The result is a pen that writes as elegantly as it looks. This is a tool that allows me to be creative while inspiring me with its artistry. Now, here's the bad news. Nearly all of these pens are completely gone. Only a few of the 18 karat gold nibs remain, and that will be it. Be sure to check out the Goldspot website for the fourth most popular pen before it is gone for good. You won't need a telescope to spot the third most popular pen of March 2024. Here is the Narwhal Nautilus in Horsehead Nebula. Fun fact, did you know the Horsehead Nebula, one of the most photographed celestial bodies, was originally discovered in the Orion constellation in 1913? Inspired by the stellar beauty of the cosmos, Goldspot commissioned Elise from Starry Night Resins to mix a beautiful resin worthy of the extraterrestrial equine. The result is a cosmic kaleidoscope of dark blue, lavender, and fiery orange swirls highlighted with twinkling glitter. Then, Narwhal crafted the cast acrylic rods into the Nautilus fountain pen model. So, as you would expect with any pen that has a custom resin, is that each pen has its own unique combination of swirls and glitter and colorful patterns. This one particularly has a lot of orange in the cap, which is generally what you might expect with most of the pens, that they'll have a significant amount of orange in the cap, and some of the holographic glitter that borders then the orange and the purple that is at the very top of the cap. And then most of the lavender and blue will be in the barrel with some streaking orange that may come down all the way to the barrel. But then the barrel end the piston knob will probably be mostly blue and purple with some of that glitter kind of strewn about the rest of the pen. In this space-themed context, the porthole style ink windows give the pen a retro futuristic look. You can see how much fuel is left in your pen through these ink windows. 
And to top it all off, you have the Narwhal number 6 size in-house stainless steel nib, which is gold plated to match the trims, available in fine, medium, broad, double broad, or 1.1 millimeter stub. Don't miss this 1 in 1500 light year opportunity. Get the third most popular pen of March 2024 for $160 exclusively on the Goldspot Pens website. Our second most popular pen in March is a magical collaboration that combines enchanting red abalone acrylic from Jonathan Brooks with the detailed driven artisanship of Ohio's Edison Pen Company. The Edison Newark Wizard cast a spell on our pen pals with its breathtaking iridescence and awe-inspiring presence. In the pen industry, Jonathan Brooks is a wizard at making acrylic resin. The artful beauty of Brooks materials is on a whole other level. This red abalone pen, for example, has all the iridescence and pearlescence of abalone without being made of actual abalone. To develop the Goldspot exclusive Newark design, we worked closely with the Edison team to incorporate all the most writer-friendly elements into one comfortable pen design that you'll love writing with, posted or unposted. At the time of recording this video, about half of the 100 total pens of this numbered limited edition are already spoken for. Each pen has the edition number engraved on the barrel and filled in black to match the black oxide clip and the blacked out stainless steel Yovo number no. 6 size nib. You'll make magic on the page with your choice of nib size ranging from extra fine through broad and a 1.1 millimeter stub and 1.5 millimeter stub nib size options. The wizard will see you now, but not for long. Don't hesitate on this second most popular pen of March 2024, exclusively available at Goldspot for $199. Up from the third spot in February's top five to the number one bestseller pen of March, our 2024 exclusive Caveco Sport Royal Amethyst takes top honors with its regal dark purple translucent design and gold-plated appointments. The Caveco Sport fountain pen is beloved by many, from beginners to seasoned pen collectors, for its pocket-friendly design, convenience, and affordability. When we collaborated with Caveco on this project, we wanted a sport pen for a mature audience that carried a sense of refined luxury. Purple and gold is a timeless color combination. It looks astoundingly good on a sport fountain pen. The sport fills using an international ink cartridge, of which one is included in this in the barrel here, or a sport converter, which is sold separately, or you can also convert it into an eyedropper fill barrel. The lightweight sport is small enough to easily slide into your pocket, yet with the cap post on the back, it extends to a comfortable length. The Sport Fountain Pen stainless steel nib writes smoothly and reliably with nib grades that range from extra fine to double broad. Whether writing a sticky note for a colleague or scribing a royal decree, the Caveco Sport Royal Amethyst Fountain Pen is the tool to turn your words into action. You'll have to take quick action to claim one of the few remaining pens for $29 only at Gold Spot. There you have it, folks, your top five pens of March 2024. To recap, we have the Retro 51 Alice in Wonderland, the Scribo La Dota Aquarello, the Narwhal Nautilus Horsehead Nebula, the Edison Newark Wizard Red Abalone, and the Caveco Royal Amethyst. Now here's our question of the week from Stationary Stream who asks, what was a fountain pen misconception that you had before you tried fountain pens? Everyone was once a beginner. And my first encounter with nibs and ink happened when I was a youth drawing comic book illustrations with a bottle of Higgins India ink and a dip nib. I had no experience with using flexible nib before and I would spray ink across the page because I just wasn't using it properly. So I incorrectly assumed that since fountain pens have a similar looking nib, they would act the same way. Once I started working for Goldspot and using fountain pens, I quickly realized that my assumption was incorrect and fountain pens were quite pleasant to use. So what are some other misconceptions that I may have heard from talking with pen people from over the years? So I wanted to list a few of them here so you get like an idea, especially if you're on the outside looking in, you might get an idea of like, oh, well, I might feel that way myself. One of the things actually that uh, Stationary Stream brought up was that the misconception that all fountain pen nibs flex, because you might have seen on social media, of course, like I'm guilty of it. I've posted videos of myself flexing fountain pen nibs 
quite a few of them, in fact, most recently too, is that you know you tend to see these posts, and you might see a lot of other people doing it too, that they have very flexible nibs, but not many fountain pen nibs at all have that ability to flex and to provide that line variation. So that's one of them. Another one is that all fountain pens have a problem with leaking. Uh, a lot of questions we get is, how do I prevent my pen from leaking on a plane? Or how do I stop the pen from just spontaneously just leaking all over the place? And really that's a problem that only happens very, very infrequently. And you have to kind of get a right set of conditions. It has to be a perfect storm for your fountain pen to leak for some reason. And that's comes out of experience and knowing like, and especially even traveling too. I brought a whole bunch of pens. I brought a, a set of different types of fillers on an airplane with me. I had an eyedropper filled pen, a converter pen, a piston filled pen. I wanted to see just what people were talking about when it came to pens leaking, especially on an airplane where there's some pressure changes as you change altitude. And None of them leaked. Um, there wasn't even any like ink in the cap. Like I was expecting to maybe open one of the pens and then see some ink that w was in the cap, but none of them leaked at all. I was even surprised for the the eyedropper filler it didn't do that. So there's really a m minimal amount of concern when it comes to that. It's not necessarily like that no fountain pens leak because they do on occasion. But I think the misconception is that they do it all the time and that's just not true. One of the things that, especially if you look at one of our videos, is that um, you might come to the idea that all fountain pens are really expensive. Um, and of course, yeah, there's going to be some very expensive pens, but out of the, the top five that we have here, the fountain pens that I show here, we, we were discussing the prices. I mean, you have like one that's that's in the hundreds of dollars and then the Escribo is uh, about 600 or $700 actually. And then the Narwhal is about 160, but you have the number one selling pen. That's the reason why it's number one selling is that it only goes for $29. So there's, there's a lot of price differences in fountain pens and you don't need to spend $200 to get a great writing experience of an everyday fountain pen. You could go for, uh, let's say, just even just getting started, Platinum Preppy or Pilot Varsity, just to get an idea of what it's going to feel like and then build it up from there if you want to. You don't have to, but you, you can. So and that was definitely one thing that keeps, I think, a lot of people out is that thinking it's way too expensive. And then also, too, is that fountain pens are just too much time and effort to maintain. Um, that is definitely a huge misconception. I mean, I think that if you could water a plant or if you could wash dishes, like if you regularly, you know, wash your pans and stuff after you use them, you could take care of a fountain pen. Um, basically, that's all that it entails is that you have to, when you're, let's say, done with the fill up of ink and you want to change colors, you just wash it out until it runs clean. You don't have to like go scrubbing and, and using soap and everything. Just rinse it out until it goes clean. That's it. And then when you're done, just let it air dry and then you could put it away if you're not going to use it again, or you could just re-ink it with something else. There's really nothing to it. So definitely that's another big misconception. I feel that would keep people from diving into this hobby a little bit more. Um, if you have any that you think of, leave them in the comments. Congrats go to Stationary Stream for being picked as the question of the week. You've won the Monteverdi Monza 3 fountain pen set I mentioned in last week's episode. Email me at tomagoldspot.com to claim your prize. For this week's giveaway, we have a Retro 51 Alice in Wonderland pen or pencil, your choice, up for grabs. To enter, you must be subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment below with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future video. If I answer your question, you win. If you'd like to see me write with the pens mentioned in this week's episode, you could check out Goldspot Pens YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, and TikToks for writing samples. You can also see a little behind the scenes making of, of the Edison Newark. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff podcast by Goldspot Pens. Now go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Till next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.